Yo, what's up guys? In this video, I'm gonna be analyzing the initial muzzle velocity and the rate of fire in each assault rifle in rounds per minute. After doing some digging, I found some data containing the raw inputs for each weapon and how they're coded. This is after 1.0 and the most recent weapon patch. Considering this game is based on realism, let's get started and see how close Blue Hole got the weapons to their real life counterparts. Starting off with the M416, which is the HK416, we will see that it was programmed to have a bullet velocity of 880 meters per second, and if we compare it to the real life rifle, depending on the barrel length of course, it's about the same. Now let's look at the rate of fire. Here we have to take the time between shots and input it to find the actual rate of fire or rounds per minute. In this case, the M416 fires at 700 rounds per minute. When comparing it to its real life counterpart, it does indeed fire between 700 to 900 rounds per minute and cyclic full auto depending on the model. Up next we have the SCAR L. Now in the data it shows that the initial bullet velocity is 870 meters per second and according to the Wikipedia, we'll see it fires at exactly 870 meters per second. Now let's check out the rate of fire. The in-game data shows the time between shots is 0.096 and if I dial in 625 rounds per minute, it gives us exactly the same number. Spot on blue hole. Let's move on to the M16. We'll see that the initial bullet speed is 900, due to the longer barrel size of course. Now let's compare to the real life counterpart, which if we look closely shows 960 meters per second, which is not exactly spot on, but close enough. Now let's look at the rate of fire. The time between shots is 0.075, and when we input that into the calculator, using some guessing, we'll get 800 rounds per minute. Looking on the wiki, we see in cyclic mode, it can fire between 700 to 950 rounds per minute. So again, it's almost spot on. Now let's look at the AKM, also known as the AK-47. This fires the larger 7.62mm round, which does travel a bit slower compared to the 5.56 And in the data, it shows an initial speed of 715 meters per second. Let's take a look at the real life counterpart, and we'll see that it fires at exactly an initial speed of 715 meters per second. Again, spot on. Now the rate of fire was a bit tricky with this one, as it was lacking that data. There was no time between shots to show. But based on the sound and the experience of using this weapon, I would say that it's about 600 RPM. And looking at the real life version, it does fire at 600 rounds per minute. So I would say it's safe to say, based on the other assumptions, that this is pretty accurate. Next we have the two crate weapons, which aren't as common, but they are in the game, so let's look at them. First we'll start with the R, which shares a lot of similarities in programming to the M416. Its muzzle velocity does seem a little bit higher though, which is strange considering the barrel size. And as we see in the data, it's 940. Now when we compare that to the real life version, we'll see that the AUG fires at 970 meters per second, which is actually quite surprising, but it's almost perfectly accurate, only 30 off. Now if we look at the rate of fire, we will see that it's the exact same numbers as the M4, which is at 700 RPM. This I believe is a good middle ground to the real life counterpart. And based on the data in Wikipedia, this varies between 680 to 750 RPM. Last but not least, we have the Groza, which fires a larger 7.62 mm round in a short barrel bullpup configuration. The in-game data shows a bullet speed of 715, if we compare that to the real life weapon, the OTS-14 Groza, we'll see that it has a muzzle velocity of 720 meters per second, which is almost spot on again. Now when we examine the rate of fire and take the time between shots of 0.08, we get a staggering RPM of 750. This would explain why this weapon melts up close. The larger bullet and the fast rate of fire is just unmatched. 
and when we compare this to the real life version, it's spot on. Good job, Blue Hole. Overall, this is quite interesting and very impressive on a technical level. They pretty much nail the way these rifles fire. Now, I always wondered just how accurate Blue Hole got them, and now we know. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and it was as much of an eye opener as it was for me. Thanks for watching. Peace out, guys.